If you are having sex in your dreams, your problem is mostly likely coming from demonic spirits. These spirits will cause difficulty in your financial life, your marriage life, and your sexual or romantic life. Many of us suffer from having sex in a dream regularly and thinks it's normal. I'm here today to tell you any dreams that is involved any form of sexual intercourse is from a sexual demon, no matter how beautiful he or she looks in your dream. Whenever you see yourself in a dream having sexual intercourse or making love with your husband, your wife, your dad, your mother, your brother or sister, a friend, or someone you do not know, believe me, it is no other than a sex demon masquerading him or herself. They are here to manipulate you, to make you not trust your loved one, and to end whatever earthly relationship you are in. These spirits are very destructive, very wicked, they hit union, they hit marriages and hit progress. They are also very possessive and they do not let go of their captives easily. Do not take them lightly or show any kindness towards them. They are hard to get rid of once you allow them to come in. Many times we pray against these spirits, we fast against them, we worship God and yet it seems like they are not going anywhere. Most people do not recognize that these spirits are real. The Bible says in Genesis 6 verse 1 through 4. Now it came about when mankind became to multiply on the face of the land, and daughters were born to them, that the sons of God saw that the daughters of mankind were beautiful, and they took them wives for themselves, whomever they choose. Then the Lord said, My spirit will not remain with men forever, because he is also flesh. Nevertheless, his day shall be a hundred and twenty years. The Nephilims were on the earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of God came into the daughters of mankind, and they brought children to them. Those were the mighty men who were of old, men of renown. Because of these falling angels, spiritual marriages supersede physical marriages. Because the spiritual realm supersede and dictate what happened in the physical realm. A spiritual marriage is kept in place by evil covenant that you may or may not be aware of. Yes, it is possible to be married in the spirit realm and not be aware of it. Peter describes some of these demons as roaming about like warring lions seeking someone to devour. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 The moment these spirits succeed in having sex with you in your dream, you are connected to them. These wicked spirits will destroy your marriage and your happiness and everything in your life will become difficult. Your virtues, your goodness, and your prospect will be kept in a witchcraft cage. These spirits are also responsible for many things in your life such as violence, madness, anger, cultism, lust, and sexual perversion, pornography, being single, unable to find a wife, many divorces, bankruptcy, sex in the dreams or having sex in your dream, and becoming your husband or your wife in the spirit. If you want to be free from the sexual demons, you must engage in spiritual warfare prayers against sexual demons and to break all the strongholds of these demons from your life. Otherwise, they will continue hurting and controlling your life. But the Bible says, Greater is he in you that can remove these spirits. But just like Jesus who told the spirit to go out at the madman, so must you. If you are experiencing any of these sexual demons, repent of your sins and your forefathers sins and ask Jesus Christ to deliver you. The same power which works miracles, signs and wonders is the same power to deliver you from sexual demons. During this prayer, your focus should be on God. Stay focused and do not let the sexual demon distract you from your deliverance and to seduce your soul. Do not believe his lies. Be persistent in prayer until negative influences leaves you in peace. Isaiah 54 verse 5, the Bible says, For your maker is your husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and your redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. He is called the God of the whole earth. Therefore, if Jesus is your husband, then legally and according to him, you cannot have any other spirit husband or wife. And in 1 Corinthians 6 verse 17, the Bible says, But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. 
Therefore, if you are one with God, you cannot be joined with any other, and they must go. And in Isaiah 54 verse 14, the Bible says, In righteousness you shall be established, you shall be far from oppression, for you shall not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near you. Isaiah 54 verse 17, the Bible says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Isaiah 54 verse 4, the Bible says, Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed, neither be disgraced, for you will not be put to shame, for you will not forget the shame of your youth, and will not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore. Isaiah 54 verse 15, the Bible says, Indeed, they shall surely assemble, but not because of me. Whoever assemble against you shall fall for your sake. And in 1 John 4 verse 4, the Bible says, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Let us pray. My Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, you say when two or more gather in your son's name, you are with us. Father, in the name of Jesus, you say whatsoever I bind or loose on earth, you will bind or loose in heaven. I bind in the name of Jesus every spirit that is not of the Holy Spirit and cast you at the heavenly Father to do with as he wills. Spirit husband, spirit wife, release me by fire in the name of Jesus. Every spirit husband, every spirit wife, I divorce you tonight by the blood of Jesus. Every spirit wife, every spirit husband, I commend you to die tonight in the name of Jesus. Everything you have deposited in my life, come out by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power that is working against my marriage, fall down and die tonight in the name of Jesus. I divorce and renounce my marriage with the spirit husband or wife in the name of Jesus. I break all confidence enter into with the spirit husband or wife in the name of Jesus. I command the thunder fire of God to burn to ashes the wedding gown, the rings, the photographs, and all other material used for the marriage in Jesus' mighty name. I send the fire of God to burn to ashes the marriage certificate in the name of Jesus. I break every blood and soul tie confidence with the spirit husband or spirit wife in the name of Jesus. I send thunder fire of God to burn to ashes the children born to the marriage in Jesus mighty name. I withdraw my blood, my sperm or any other part of my body deposited into the altar of the spirit husband or spirit wife in Jesus name. Your spirit husband or wife tormenting my life in earthly marriage, I bound you with high chains and feathers of God and cast you out of my life into the deep pit, and I command you not to ever come into my life again in Jesus' mighty name. I return to you every property of yours in my possession in the spirit world, including the wedding gifts and whatsoever was used for the marriage and confidence in Jesus' mighty name. I drain myself of all evil material deposit in my body as a result of our sexual relations in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, send Holy Ghost fire into my root and burn out all unclean things deposited in it by the spirit husband or wife in Jesus' name. I break the head of the snake deposited into my body by the spirit husband or wife to do me harm and command it to come out right now in Jesus' mighty name. I purge out with the blood of Jesus every evil material deposit into my life to prevent me from having children on earth in Jesus' name. Lord, repair and restore every damage done to any part of my body and my earthly marriage by the spirit husband or wife in Jesus' name. I reject and cancel every curse, every evil pronouncement, every spell, every jinx, every enchantment, incantation placed upon me by the spirit husband or wife in Jesus' name. I take back and possess all my earthly belonging in the custody of the spirit husband or wife in Jesus' name. I command the spirit husband or wife to turn his or her back on me forever in Jesus' name. I renounce and reject the name given to me by the spirit husband or wife in the name of Jesus. I hereby declare and confess that the Lord Christ is my husband for eternity in Jesus' mighty name. I soak myself in the blood of Jesus, and I cancel the evil mark or writing place on me in Jesus' name. I set myself free from the stronghold, dominating power, and bondage of the spirit husband or wife in the name of Jesus. 
I paralyze the remote control power and work used to destabilize an earthly marriage and to bind me from bearing children for my earthly husband or wife in the name of Jesus. I announce to the heaven that I am forever married to Jesus. Every trademark of evil marriage be shaken out of my life in the name of Jesus. Every evil writing engraved by iron pen be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. I bound the blood of Jesus upon the spirit that does not want me to go in the name of Jesus. I bring the blood of Jesus on every evidence that can be tendered by wicked spirit against me. I bring the blood of Jesus upon the spirit that does not want to go in the name of Jesus. I bring the blood of Jesus on every evidence that can be tendered by wicked spirit against me. I file a counter report in the heavens against every evil marriage in the name of Jesus. I refuse to supply any evidence that the enemy may use against me in the name of Jesus. I declare to you, spirit wife or spirit husband, that there is no vacancy for you in my life in the name of Jesus. I come by faith to Mount Zion, Lord. Command deliverance upon my life today in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, defend your interests in my life. Everything written against me in the cycle of the moon be blotted out in Jesus' name. Every program into the sun, the moon, and stars against me be dismantled tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Every evil thing programmed into my genes be blotted out by the blood of Jesus. O oh Lord, check out season of failure and frustrations for my life. I overthrow every wicked law working against my life in the name of Jesus. I spit destruction unto the altar speaking against the purpose of God for my life in Jesus' name. I declare myself a virgin for the Lord Jesus. Let every evil veil upon my life be torn open in Jesus' name. Every wall between me and the visitation of God be broken tonight in the name of Jesus. Let the counsel of God prosper in my life in Jesus' name. I destroy the power of any demonic seed in my life from the womb in the name of Jesus. I break into my umbilical gate to overthrow all negative parental spirits in the name of Jesus. I break the yoke of the spirit having access to my reproductive gate in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, let your time of refreshing come upon my life tonight in Jesus' name. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I tell the spirit husband and spirit wife tormenting my earthly marriage to stop and cease right now. And I bind the spirits up with hot chains and feathers and send them to the dry places in the name of Jesus. And they can never return into my life again. I call for protection of the Lord as a wall of fire so that these spirits burn up if they come anywhere near me and burn every unclean thing still attached to me. I also call for the blood of Jesus to cleanse me with his blood. Father God, you are the restorer of all things, and I petition and pray the curse to be broken, and that every damage done to my marriage be completely restored to my earthly marriage. I also cancel every curse, every spell, every jinx, every enchantment, every incantation placed on me by these spirits. By the power and authority of Jesus Christ, I renounce and cancel the name given to me in the demonic realm. I thank the Lord for his blood that cleanses me, and that the blood is my husband for eternity in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank the Lord for him setting me free from the stronghold of the spirit of jealousy over my earthly wife. And break all bondage of this husband and wife spirits in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you Lord that I am now free from this spirit husband and wife and that I am under the authority and control of the Holy Spirit of God, and that every program against my body be dismantled and blotted out by the blood of Jesus. I declare and decree my earthly marriage restored and set free from all demonic spirit. In the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, Amen.